Hello everyone, hope we're all good. Thanks for all your support. Again, thanks to everyone out there who likes, shares, comments and subscribes. It means a lot to me. It really does. I hope you enjoy these uploads. I certainly enjoy reading the comments and the feedback from them. Thank you very much. If I can answer you, yeah, I will. It's all about the time. Yeah. So I want to talk about old school Liverpool legends, gangsters versus what we've got today in our community. We've got, today we've got, you know, feral gangs blazing around on those um, 10 bob scooters, chewing the star dog and terrorising communities. It's what it's about, isn't it? Full of ego, full of bravado. And i tell you what, I spoke to a few lads today and it's about, um, Familiarity breeds contempt. Now, we've got this group of lads who are working together. They've never met each other. They're from different postcodes around Merseyside. And a little argument breaks out. Next thing, someone wants to pull a blade on someone. That's how quick it escalated. From an argument about something that was irrelevant to, I'm going to stab you. This is what we're, this is what we're living with. Years ago, when I was growing up, I thought, in my day, it wasn't like that. Ten of us lived in matchbox in all ink ground, eating onions. I'm not going to go down that road in my day. Just saying, when I was young, you know, it was it was strangers. It was one to ones. You'd never even dream of saying to someone, "I'm going to pull a blade on you. I'm going to shave your kids." These days are just carrying them like. You know, like the like the mobile phones. It's a it's a fashion accessory. You know, it says there's a there's a a, a thing called real men don't carry knives. I've seen that, and the first thing I thought was, what about the women? What about the young girls? Real men don't carry knives. What about real women? Also don't carry knives because that's what these young men do. They pass it on to these young girls because they haven't got the balls to carry, carry these weapons themselves. So they'll cowardly hand it to, you know, some young vulnerable girl. That's how it is. You know, so fish, old school gangsters, legends of back in the day. So I come from speaking, there was a little fame up there and they were quite heavy, but they were really respectful. They never terrorized anyone. They never bullied anyone. People respected the community. If there was any beef, you know, you'd, you'd settle it in the old-fashioned way. Queensby rules. Put up that pugilistic stance and let's box, man. So that's how it was, you know. And this, you know, now even now you go to to prison, like the echo is full of full of shit, isn't it? Come on, let's have it. <laughs> the echo is full of poo. You know, anyone. Not from Liverpool, it's called the Liverpool Echo. That's based in Manchester and it just chats loads of wham about this, that and the other. You know, and it's bringing this gangster culture to life every time it goes to print. It's talking about the same, you know, gangsters in Liverpool and gangs in Merseyside. Look, what are they? Yeah. Just a few lost kids who have gone through some kind of trauma, whether it's at home, in school, or in the area that they live in. They don't feel secure on their own, so they're mixing with other people. And bad company corrupts good character. I'm a big believer in that. Bad company will corrupt good character. Yeah, they're listening to... You know, these so-called mates chatting capers about everyone. You know, he's a grass, he's a nonce. And that's bandied about a lot lately. Grass and nonce and he's a bacon and, you know, it's a label, isn't it? It's just attached to, to someone who's not conforming to, you know, society's rules. Yeah, so, you know, it's, for example, I, I went to prison. 
in um, in two thousand February two thousand and eighteen. It was absolutely freezing. The beast from the east. I'm going to prison. I went to prison clean. It was very 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 different from any time I've been before. You know, I'm walking into this drug in used environments where everyone's full of paranoia. They didn't want to look anyone in the eyes because I thought, you know, if they, if our eyes lock and he snarls, then how am I going to react? Because that's what I'm about. I'm about reacting. I don't have relationships. I have reacting, reaction ships and I'm going to react. You know, and I can become very volatile because of my pride and my ego. So if you're looking at me, you know, and then I'm looking and it's off, it's on one. And we're going toe to toe. But this day and age, they're pulling out like harpoons. I've seen Scoobies, which is screws, raid cells, right, raiding pads, and coming out with brush poles with big spikes on. I'm going to harpoon someone. You know, this is Filipino kid. He, he had a pad, you know, uh, just full of weapons. He was like Rambo. He was just, he was like that. And um, you just knew. And when you spoke to him, you didn't want to cross him because not that you were scared of him, you'd probably take him out all day long. Ha <laughs> ha! He'd be gone. It was the fact that he'd be sly and sneaky and creep up behind you or while you were in the shower. You know, and, and plug you. Start plunging you with this little harpoon he's got. He doesn't even have to be close, he'd be like that. <laughs> so yeah. You know, when I went in there and I've watched this way of life and, and, I, and I'm clean and I'm thinking, oh, I want to get through this. I'm looking at the floor, looking at my shoes, thinking I don't want to look at anyone because I don't want to argue, I just want to go off. And it was really, really difficult. And what, what it did to me, it was separates, it separated the men from the boys. Because if someone was throwing a little bit of a, you know, throwing, throwing a strong arm on at me and I thought, you know, it's going to go off. I just have to just bite my tongue and go, all right, yeah. You know, walk away from this one. There was a kid next door and I was arguing with him over a toaster. Yeah. And um, it nearly went off. Over a toaster. I went into his pad. You know, he said something to me, he said something back. And that's when it started to escalate. He hands it up, his hands it up. <laughs> he shits his undies. You did, lad. You know, I had a little bit more about me then. But while I was doing this, I'm going to be honest, while I was in this position, ready to start, like, swinging blows, a part of me was going, you don't really want to be, be here doing this. It's not who you are, it's not what you're about. You know, and I was hoping that I could bluff, I could call his bluff here. Because that's what it's about sometimes, it's about, like, bluffing your way through, blagging it. You know, you, you, we've all done it, haven't we? When it's... You know, when you when you when it's come on top and you're arguing with someone or you're at the windows in, in a prison and you're shouting, I'll see you in the morning, you you dickhead. I've been here and say that I'll smash your head in. I think it's the one with the strongest amount of venom coming out of coming out of them that, that can try and scare the other one into going, All right, lads, I don't wanna know. I'll be like, lads, I am gonna smash your face right in. I'm gonna put your jaw in a sling. I tell you now, I'm going to hit you with this. It's a tamazi, and it's going to put you to sleep. Bang, bang. I've gone out, I'm open. He's, he's giving it that back. Yeah, all right, lad, in the morning. It's going off. I'm going to get me press-ups done now while I'm in the pad. And then, you know, it gets to a point where someone's going to break. Someone's going to crack. You know, and I'm not going to crack. I'm telling you now. <laughs> I'd like to go down a fucking block. You know, with a few bruises, then, you know, ends up like Cardian. You know, so yeah, this time, you know, I went in, in 2018, it was a different experience. You know, um, there was a few tips in there that were, you know, throwing the eyebrows and giving it the cat age there. And I thought, you know what, mate? I swear, you and your cat age there and your eyebrows, you know, I, I, I'd bury you here and now. And I've had to just like walk away. And I know the giggling. You know, with the mates about me, look, he's a dickhead, him, look, he's just walked away. But you know what I felt? I thought I felt like a mug. You know, and I sat in my shell and I was beating myself up and I'm plotting. And be head and right, I'll tell you what I'll do now. In the morning, you know, I'll go out in the park, I'll go to the park, I'll get an air pad and I'll do this, I'll do that. You know, because that's what I do, I go to bed and I've got this resentment and it's rolling down my head and I'm going to do this. You know, I'll, I'll, when I get out, I'll throw them in the boots of a car and I'll bury them. That's where I go with it. 
I go to these dark places with me in my mind about what I want to do. And in reality, I'm not going to do none of that. You know, so I'm giving all this energy to this this thought, this resentment. You know, and then I realise that all I need to do is just go, okay, you know what you can do. You know it doesn't scare you. But you know there's a consequence. And the consequence is you're going to lose time. You're going to get shipped out to somewhere further away from where you are already. And you're going to end up feeling shit about yourself. So, you know, I don't. I don't do it. You know, I'm getting to a place where I'm a lot older now, I'm a lot more mature. And although I've changed, you know, I haven't changed into a bell end. I've changed into someone who's a lot more mature and can rise above it. I wish those people well. Because I've been there. That was me. Always down the block. Always fighting. Always hearing that shout. There's always going to be someone bigger than either. And it always was. And there always will be. And I don't fear no one. The only person I fear is myself and, and what I can get myself into. That's the truth. You know, once you've lived a life like I have, you know, you're really asked about someone's um, reputation because that was that's what it was all about someone's reputation would come before them oh Bill I wouldn't mess with him because he's this and that and all of a sudden you're thinking fucking hell I'm up against it here you know what I mean so that sort of beats you down a little bit now I don't I'm not interested in someone's reputation can't be asked who cares it's about my reputation it's about what I do today it's about how I, I respond and not react yeah, I mean, I don't know whether any of these videos make any sense to anyone, but they do to me. And I'll keep sharing them, and, you know, as long as you keep enjoying these little uploads, I'll still upload them. Thanks again for watching.